Okay, we're going to take what we did in class by hand and actually do the same thing using Google Sheets. So you get used to doing things on the computer. So we want to take to find the standard deviation of a set of data. And here's the formula here. And we're going to break it down into steps. Okay? Uh, the formula. So the first thing we need to do is find the mean. Then we need to find the population size. Subtract each number from the mean. Square the result of that. Then sum all the squares. Divide the sum by n. And then take the square root of that of the information that we got in, of the number we got in step six, which is the standard deviation. Okay. Alrighty. So, and I have this set up here. So let's see. First thing we need to do is say we need to find the mean. Okay. In order to do that, you type in equal, and you type in average. Okay. So as you see, it starts. Google Sheets starts populating that information automatically. So there we go. And I want to take the average of this set of numbers and click on enter, and there we go, we got 66. Okay, now I want to find the population size. Now I could count this by hand if I wanted to, but if you're dealing with a large set of data, Google Sheets would automatically do this for you, can do this for you. So I type in equal count, and I'm going to use this bottom one here for count, and then highlight the cells that I want to count. There we go, we got 10. Okay. Now I want to subtract, step 3, I want to subtract uh, the mean from each number. So I go here, click on equal, click on 22, and I want to subtract the mean from The mean is down here in this cell. Click on that and hit enter. Now, I don't want to have to retype this formula all over again, so I need, I'm going to drag it down. But if I do that, you look that he took what was in they subtracted uh, B13 which is 29 from C20 uh, C26 and what's C26? there's nothing in that's 10 that's not correct so what we have to do let's do undo I need to lock this cell where the data where the mean is located so I won't move down so I'm going to put a star I mean a dollar sign in front of C and then another dollar sign in front of the 25 and what we're doing there is we're locking the cell in place the dollar sign in front of the C locks the column in place and then the dollar sign in, 20, in front of 25 locks that row okay so now if I do that now if I click on the bottom right hand corner of the cell and drag it down it is correct I can look and I know that that, and you can see by looking in the cell here, that that is correct. It is subtracted 29 from 66, and it did it for the rest of them as well. Okay, great. Now I want to take this result that I got and square it. So I'm going to click, type in equal, click on the, um, the cell that I want to take the square of, and hit shift 6, which is the caret symbol, and hit the number 2 because that's basically taking a negative 44 and, and raising it to the second power which is squaring it so I got that number which is looks right make sure make sure your numbers look appropriate and here we go look I know without using my calculator that 9 square is 81 and you see negative 44 is positive 16 negative 44 square so I did that right so we did step 3 this step four now we need to do step five find the sum of the squares so we're going to type in equal here and I'm going to put that information here type in sum and it comes up for you there but sum is only three letters so I can type that put in uh, open parentheses and highlight the data that I want to take the sum of and enter and there we go okay let me move let me center everything in these cells even though there's nothing there, I just want to go ahead because I just um, like to do things that way. Okay, now I need to take this 8,388 and divide it by n, the population. You see, that's what I'm doing here. Okay, all right, so now you need to go back and do that. So I take this number, divide it by 
the population size, which is n. Got that. That makes us right, obviously. Decimal moved over one place to the left. And now I want to take the square root of that information. So I type in equal, click on the cell, I want to take the square root of. And remember, the square root is the same thing as raising something to the one half power. So I'm going to type in shift six and type in 0.5, which is the same thing as one half. And there we go. Just one other thing. Um, sometimes you may get a lot of decimal places. Go ahead and round it to three significant figures. Makes sense. All right. Now, what I would like for you to do now is to take this same sheet and what I just did and do it for this data. Okay? That's your assignment. Done.